All right, so we've been backpacking for two days. We made it up to this ridge this morning and we spotted uh, five different bucks and there's two shooters. This is what uh, backcountry bow hunting's all about. All right, so we're all loaded up here. We're headed to Idaho. So we've got a general season deer tag down there and gonna go try to find some big deer and get after it. Uh, uh, we got a spot that we've been looking at that we're gonna go hike into and and uh, we're just, we're, we're flexible. We can either hunt high country or we can hunt desert or um, wherever the deer are at. So um, loading up now and we're gonna go hit it. We're not starting off too good. We made it to Idaho here and we're just working up this canyon, just kind of stopped to glass and shut the truck down and kind of look around. We saw an elk up there and looking for some mule deer and the truck won't restart. So I don't know, I think we got a bad battery. Gonna have to run back to the nearest town here, but gotta get a jump first. So not starting off too good, but you just gotta roll with the punches and get things fixed and get back in the hills. So we're gonna do a little mechanicing and then uh, get our gear on and start hunting hopefully, so. See what happens here. All right, so a little mechanican got the uh, battery changed out. We got a jump from a guy coming down the road, and so not the way you want to start your trip. But now it's four o'clock, and so we're back where we started up this drainage, and we're gonna get way up on top and see if we can't start finding some mule deer here. So. Um, fixed up and rolling again. It's a good thing. All right, this is where the rubber meets the road. Um, we've been looking around Idaho for a couple days. Just haven't been able to find the quality or the numbers we're looking for. So we got this high country spot we've been looking at that we're real excited to get into. So. Uh, we're gonna get in here. We're real light. We got three days worth of stuff on and just see if we can't turn up some good bucks in the backcountry. So uh, trailhead looks good. Nobody hunting in here. We got it all to ourselves. So the only thing left to do is find a big buck. All right, so we just made it into our first night camp here. Uh, looks really good. Boy, we've been waiting for this all year long. Uh, looks like muley country. Uh, there's a couple other guys in here, but that's what you get when you get public land. So we're gonna hold up here tonight and go up here and glass a couple drainages. And then tomorrow morning, we'll probably load up our stuff and do another day's push back and see if we can't separate, separate ourselves from the pressure. But um, looks muley, that's all we can ask for.
Welcome back to Eastman's Hunting TV. Before the break, we left Brian at his first night's camp. Due to some hunting pressure in the area, he's opted to push deeper into the backcountry. All right, so we've been backpacking for two days. We made it up to this ridge this morning and we spotted uh, five different bucks and there's two shooters. So there's one big uh, hard horned and then a big velvet. So we're just keeping our eye on them and gonna try to make something happen here. Put them to bed and then try to make a play around them. So we're pumped. This is what uh, backcountry bow hunting's all about. So keep with us and see if we can't get on them. All right, so we're up here glassing the Idaho backcountry, and I just had a quick glassing tip for you guys. So we got on this feature this morning, but when we're glassing features, we try to set up so the sun is behind us. So it just illuminates the feature we're looking at and the animals we're looking at, and we're not looking into that haze of the sun when we're glassing. So when you're planning your glassing strategies, always try to be with the sun at your back. And, and the other thing it does is it hides your presence as well. Animals can't see as well into the sun. They're looking into the haze as you're looking into the illuminated basin. So just a glassing tip for you guys as we're up here in the Idaho backcountry. Well, we just got camp set up down in here. Heat of the day, it's like 11 o'clock. We made our way off that ridge. So we got a buck over here and a buck over here and we're far enough away. Water on either side and we're really set up good. All right, so we sat up on this vantage point. We watched these, these bucks bed down, but the one hard horn kind of went in some thick cover there, and then the other one, uh, the velvet, went out of sight. But we're gonna go down and make camp in this basin. There's some other basins we can hunt, and we're on some bucks, so we'll make camp, and then we're gonna go up the ridge and try to relocate these bucks. I'm not sure if we'll get a bedded play on them, or if we'll wait and let them come out this evening and get a play, or maybe when they go to their second bed, but we're pumped. High country mule deer, we're in them. here and uh, we spotted two bucks. One buck was out of his bed and he laid back down. He's a nice four point. We saw him this morning. So he's in a good spot. We're going to make a play around and then put a tree in between us and him and start slipping down into him. So we've got a good chance at that one. We also got the hard horn over here. We spotted him as well. He's not bedded in a good spot. We're going to have to wait till evening, but we're pumped at this play. This is a great play for high country mule deer. So we're up about 9,500 feet. We've been climbing all day. Our camp's down in the bottom, and we're gonna give this thing a go.
what an awesome stalk. I, we were stalking down to that tree. We were trying to get to the tree and we were gonna put an arrow in them and coming down and they all stood up and I had one little opening in those tree branches. I knew I could get my arrow in there and settle my pin and buck the shot, and dropped right in, hit them good. All right, so we hit that buck, hit him pretty good. I know that buck's gonna die, but he made it up over the ridge. So we're just beating feet to get another look at him. We've seen him go over two now. Um, he's starting to be hurt bad and slow up, but we just gotta figure out where he went. We're finding blood along the way and trailing him. Um, he's gonna die, we just gotta make sure that we can get eyes on him so we can find him. All right, 2017 Idaho buck. Unbelievable, I just can't believe it came together. We were able to put a perfect stock on this guy and send an arrow through him and we've been tracking him all day long, shot him this afternoon and, and finally caught up to him. What a beautiful buck, um, just, just so thrilled. I just, uh, I love hunting the high country, there's nothing like it. And to harvest a buck like this is just uh, icing on the cake. So um, I'm just thrilled. We're gonna get this guy taken care of and, and uh, get back to camp for tonight and, and haul him out tomorrow. All right, well, just making our way out. I got the buck on the back. Um, just awesome, this high country hunting this stuff and getting your buck out, it's part of the adventure. So we got a few miles down the trail or maybe more than a few, but uh, just good, I got a good cameraman that's willing to take half the meat. And 